Welcome back to International Dyno Authority. Today we have a 2020 Can-Am Renegade 1000cc. Got a modified head, bigger intake valves, more compression. Should put out more performance, but he's got great big tires, so that's going to draw back the numbers a bit, but we're going to attempt to pull them forward. We're going to use our standard procedure. We're going to read AFR, we're going to tune AFR, then we're going to tune ignition timing, cam timing, and make our way all the way through. This one is going to need a little bit of help on the idle and throttle control. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so here's what we see. We see uh, it's extremely rough off the bottom, and when we're watching the air fuel, we see the exact same things. You need a little bit of acceleration fuel as you're going through, but not this much. So the, the numbers we'll be looking at anywhere in the 12s, anywhere from 12 to like 13.1 or so, 12 to 13 pounds of air to one pound of fuel being measured coming out of the tailpipe. Right now, we're in the well in the 11s, so down bottom, all we're doing is just uh, becoming a, like a fuel pump out the tailpipe, and so we stay, if you look here, in the 11s all the way through. Um, so all of this is way rich. We should see a little rich section in here to get you going. And then after that, we should be, you know, coming into our 1280s and going all the way through. It just gives us our work to do. came in with a, an issue for idling. It's, it's got a new head combination with bigger valves, bigger cam, and it, the biggest, hardest thing that a tuner can do is make one of these machines idle. so it starts, it idles. If you give it a good quick rev, it compensates, it comes back, it recovers nicely. So now we're gonna start with just doing some mild pulls. On an engine like this, a mild pull would be like from 5,000 to 7,000. This is gonna turn it like 82 to 86 when you're revving it out. So it's gonna start with some mild pulls from the low end to the mid range. this 1000 cc Can-Am Renegade so that it starts, it idles, it recovers from RPM, you can rev it up, you can bring it down, the torque curve is looking good, the air fuel ratio, we're working on that. Wally is slowly working on making the tables and the air fuel maps so that they are correct, so that it's good all the way through, and we know what Adam's going to do with this. He's going to beat hard on it, he's going to put it in heavy mud, we want to make sure that it's not only correct, but it's going to stay correct no matter what conditions he puts it through. The torque is good. The horsepower is good. It's basically making 52 to 55 horsepower and upwards to 60 horsepower all the way through the range. We're pretty happy with it so far. Was there ever a question that this 1000 cc can-am didn't have the parts it has the higher compression pistons it's got a better flowing cylinder head it's got better camshafts but it didn't have a tune to go with that it didn't have an idle it wouldn't start it wouldn't stay running that's what we did today there was no chance that it wasn't going to make power today we finally got it so that it runs good starts good and now it's making power we actually hit over 100 foot pounds of torque to the wheels when it spiked up at the very beginning and we were holding anywhere from 50 to 60 horsepower all the way through the range 
These are huge tires that weigh 90 pounds each, so to make 60 horsepower with these great big tires, that's saying something, runs good, starts good, he's taken for a test drive. When he came back from his test drive, he had a big smile and he said, I'm being careful because I don't have a helmet on, I'm out on the pavement, I really want to flip this thing over. And he said, at no point when, the, when it was stock and I had these big tires on it, would it ever feel like it wanted to lift the front end on the pavement at speed. He's like, I could do it from a dig, but not at speed. Now he says, when I hammer it, it really wants to lift that front end up and it feels a lot better, very responsive. All right. That's what we're looking for.